first thing you need to do is create a Google form that's going to be what students fill out as they're doing a peer review. You want to collect things like the student name um, or and as well as the name of the student whose assignment is being reviewed. In this case, my students were working in teams, so I just put the team number whose group you're peer reviewing. And then you need the email address of one person in that group or the email address of the person that created the original document that is being reviewed. That way the responses can go to that student. And then I created a second section in my Google form that has the questions that I want them to answer or provide feedback on. And so those are these down here. Then I'm going to go up to responses and I'm going to create the spreadsheet that is going to collect the responses from the Google form. And I'm going to create a new spreadsheet and it's going to call it Animal Behavior Lab Video Responses. And then I'm going to click Create. And here is my spreadsheet now. Okay, now I want to be able to, once the student fills out the Google form giving feedback, I want an email to go to the original student or group that includes the feedback so that they can see it right away and make changes to their document. So we're going to use an add-on. You're going to go up to add-ons right up here. And we're going to use the add-on called Form Mule. I already have it in my list because I've added it before, but you need to go to Get Add-ons if you don't have it, and you're going to type in Form Mule, and you're going to add it, and you're going to approve um, all the different things. You're going to see pop-ups where it wants you to allow certain things. You need to click on all that. Um, I'm going to go to Launch because I already have mine installed. Um, however, it's been updated since the last time I need to use it, so I'm going to press continue and I'm going to authorize and accept, allow, all the different things that it says. Alright, so now I need to choose the sheet that has the email information, so I'm going to do select sheet, and it's my only one sheet that I have on this um, spreadsheet. It's form responses one. And I want it to be triggered every time someone submits the Google form. So I'm going to turn form trigger on. Now I could fill this stuff in. I don't need it. Um, that's kind of more advanced than what we need right now. Um, I'm going to do next templates and send conditions. And now I have the option to choose different templates. Like if a person answered this in this column or question, it will send them this email. If they answered it with a different response, it will send them a second email. It's a great tool to use, but for what we're doing, we just need one template. I'm going to call the template peer review, and I want to send this for all rows. If I was doing two different templates, this is how I can kind of choose and set up um, the different conditions of when it would send each template. But I'm going to do Save Template Settings. Then I'm going to edit my template. And here is where I'm going to fill out basically what's going into each of the emails. So the to email needs to be the email address. And this is the email address that I collected with my question that said email address of one person from the group. So I'm going to click on that and then it's going to automatically fill in that data from the spreadsheet. And next is subject. I'm going to say peer review for team number. And I'm going to do team number right there. Team number whose group you were reviewing. So peer review for team number, let's say three. Um, mealworm behavior lab. So it's going to basically fill in what's in these brackets with the information from the spreadsheet, so the team number. So then for this part here, I'm going to put in all the different things that they were collecting. I also want to say peer review by Actually, 
oh, let's see. So I'm going to have it say the who peer reviewed it just so we know um, who, who's giving them the responses. So if they have questions, they know who to go to. So where it says right here, your first name, and then it's in quotations, your first name, what's with not within those little brackets or arrows will actually be typed. So I don't want it to say your first name. So I'm going to delete that. So I said peer review by, and then it has the person's first name that peer reviewed. Now I'm going to put in the different answers to the, all the different questions. So I'm going to start out with, did they explain? And it's okay for me that this part um, is written because I want them to know what the question is. But I want to edit where the little colon goes. I'm going to put two spaces and I'm going to do the next one. And I'm just going to keep on going. I might actually put these on a different line just so it's formatted a little nicer. And I'm going to put in all my different questions. All right, so once you have all the information filled out, then you can preview and send emails to all. Now this will send emails to ones if I already had the form filled out, but it will also send an email each time they do the form submission because I turned on the trigger. So I'm gonna say preview and send to all, but I'm not really gonna be able to preview much because I don't have any information. Um, so it's, it's not gonna show me anything, um, but I'm gonna say cancel. And then I'm going to go ahead and just fill this out with a just generic, um, generic like test. So I want to go to here. Let's see. Go to the live form. Testing, testing. Team member. So I filled out the form. Now I'm going to go back over here and I can just see in the spreadsheet it just has my random information. Um, but it does say that an email was sent. And I actually sent it to myself. So I'm going to look at my own email. And here we can see I got an email that says peer review for team number one, Mailworm Behavior Lab. I'm going to open it up and it says peer review by testing because that's what I put as a first name. And then it has my questions with the information that was answered by each of the students. Um, I tried to put the answer underneath each line and I can see on this question I didn't do that. Um, I made a mistake so I can actually go in and edit my template. So I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet and then I'm going to go to add-ons, formula, and I want to go back to setup and build preview templates. And here I'm just going to scroll down and find that it was this question here. And so I'm going to just put in an enter so it um, goes on to the next line. And then I can um, preview and it will send any emails if any emails need to be sent, which at this point they don't. Um, if I wanted to just preview it without like for sure sending anything, I can just click preview this and it will kind of show me with um, what's in row one, but I can go to different rows and look and see and it, we're good. So I'm going to say send all and that's basically saving my uh, script or saving the add on so it will actually work when um, the next person fills this out. So that is how the students, once they fill out the Google form, they will then get an email with the feedback back to them.